Welcome to our coverage of NAB 2012. Let's talk about After Effects a yeah, little bit. Yeah, let's switch gears. Sure. So we jump over to After Effects. Now, I could take up two hours to talk about After Effects, so I got to just tell the tell your audience out there, definitely go to adobe.com and take a look at what we're doing with After Effects. There's going to be plenty of things on Adobe TV. Uh, a lot of our customers and our beta testers, are just, they're telling us, our, our beta testers, it's the biggest release in 10 years. You guys have just knocked it out of the park. So I'll show you a couple of the things they're talking about, but believe me, there's a lot in this program. So one of the first things that we have to look at, as I start to render this out, this is the normal life of an After Effects user, right? I mean, this is what they use. Um, now, I will say, if you're paid hourly, this is very convenient. You know, you sort of adjusted your budgets this way and your lifestyle maybe accordingly. But, you know, th this is life. So what the After Effects de uh, team did, they call it, you know, ecosystem or being green. They want to be able to reuse whatever they can, whenever they can. So you'll see when this finishes rendering, and it's a pretty complex uh, little deal here. So we come over here and let's go ahead. Well, it looks like we're a little short on RAM there, but I want to show you that this is going to start to turn blue. So we just, it's, I think it's Premiere has taken some of its RAM. So we'll give that a second. So now, what I want to show you is we have a new feature over here where I can come in and turn on cache indicators. Now, if the camera can zoom in a little bit down here, do you see how I'm showing you this on each layer? Now, if I happen to go on a layer here, let's just pick, uh, pick a layer, maybe change a, uh, a parameter on the layer. Now, you know, as well as I know, that that's death to an After Effects user, but look at all the layers that weren't affected. So we've reused those layers. So as I come back in, it's now rendering much, much faster because it, it's now got everything dedicated to that. So what do you think of that? Pretty that cool? That is incredible. So let's just assume, by the way, the power goes out. So let me do the unthinkable and quit After Effects and just don't save. That's a nightmare, right? Because I've just spent you know, the long lunch plug-in. Our coverage of NAB 2012 is brought to you by Kessler, innovative tools for filmmakers. Lettuce Direct. It's better with lettuce. LettuceDirect.com. Next lights. Get lit. So now, let's just assume I'm back into this project. So even if the power goes out, your renders are saved. So I'll tell you, go to Adobe TV and check that out because it is pretty amazing when you see what they've done, that Global Performance Cache just maintains those renders. So if you go back into a project a month later, a week later, a year later, then the render will still be there. It's pretty incredible. You saw that it actually kept the renders down here. But so so let, me, let me ask, um, basically what's happening, instead of the entire effect being, the entire render being based on the sum of the effects, the entire render is an addition of all the effects Correct. and then it maintains the information Correct. for each one? It's, it's hanging on to the frames that matter. So let's go down and look at um, 3D tracking here. So we have a, a piece of it, and actually by the way, just so the audience knows, this must have been rendered before because you can see it's blue. So it held that render even when, I, even when I quit and I've launched After Effects. So I can go ahead and play some of this out. Now what I might want to do at this point is look at this and say, okay, let's right mouse click and we're going to go down and track the camera. This is going to analyze this, this standard video, two-dimensional video, and allow me to put sort of like a, a 3D uh, map on it for data. So I can now map text, graphics, you know, I can block things out, and it will actually keep it in perspective and in 3D. So a really, really easy thing to, uh, to look at here. So we'll give that just a few more seconds to, uh, to do its deal, and it, it's analyzing this, uh, this piece of video. And this is uh, you know, running, uh, looks like it, it half res there, so it's pretty respectable. Our coverage of NEB 2012 is brought to you by Cinebate, tools for filmmakers and photographers. Della Luce, apparel for filmmakers. Zeiss, we make it visible. coming up here. Okay, 
So what you'll see is you'll start to see this, this, these markers on here to sort of create this map for you. So you just want to look at these markers here and sort of see what's going on. So you see how they're all maintaining their, their uh, relative positions. So now at this point, I got a couple things I can do. I've got some targets I can start to look at and sort of map out text. So I can come over here and say, let me just come in here and add um, a piece of text, for example. And I'll, I'll do it kind of quick. And I can come in here and you know, ma make some adjustments uh, on the text. Or frankly, I can just come in here for the sake of time and just type in some text. We zoom out, and I could add shadows to it or whatever I need to. And as I play that, that video back out, it'll just go ahead and hang on to that. You know, if I needed to you know, take a position and, and move that uh, position over maybe just a little bit, back a little bit. Okay, center that up a little bit for you. Pretty amazing. I mean, for just a few seconds, you know, you've got you know other great plugins that'll that'll do that. You know, uh, the Mocha plugin's amazing, so it actually takes this to sort of another level. But just to getting quick things done like this, blocking people's faces out, blocking things on your desk. Uh, doing great things with text and other things. And we've seen some pretty creative things from users uh, around this one feature. So that's just a couple of the features in After Effects, and it goes a whole lot further than that. Like, so you guys haven't gotten, been getting much sleep then? No, we've been, we've been very busy. This NAB is keeping us up too. So. Oh, great to hear. When is CS6 going to be available? We're, uh, we're, we're sort of targeting that first week of May, so, so stay tuned. There'll be trial versions and everything for people to check out. It's going to be really exciting. So take a look at the, the, the first week or the, the second week of May. Thanks for your time, Dave. Hey, thank you, Tony. Appreciate it. Stay tuned for more coverage fresh from the floor.